Zoom has added a cool new feature where you can use fun filters such as these. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use them. These filters are gonna add some great fun to your next meeting, whether you're teaching a class of kids, playing around with your friends, or maybe at the end of a casual business meeting. So before you get too excited, we're gonna to need to make sure you've got the latest version. So to check for the latest version, just come up to your top avatar and then come on down to check for updates. Now you're gonna need at least version 5.2. So I've already got that version, so I'm good to go. But if you haven't got the latest version, Zoom will prompt you to download and install, so go ahead and do that. It might be a good idea to test it out before your next meeting so you know where to go to do this. But you don't even need to start a new meeting, you can just come up to the settings area and head over to the backgrounds and filters section. Then where you normally have the virtual background section, you'll see a new one next to that called video filters. And that's where you wanna to be to be able to change the video filters and effects for Zoom. In these recent updates, Zoom has introduced a handful of great tools and features. And if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll outline these for you. So to turn the filters on, all you need to do is go ahead and select one of them. Now real quick, at the moment, there's three different types of filters. There's the ones that change your overall color or look. Then there's the ones where it puts a frame around your image and you need to be careful to make sure that you're in the right spot, like so. And then lastly, props and masks and glasses and that sort of thing. In a moment, we'll run through them all so you can get a quick preview. But first, let's just see how it interacts with virtual backgrounds at the same time. So at the moment, we don't have a virtual background, but we can come down and select one. And you can see that the virtual background is working at the same time as having one of these props. And then if you look real quick at if we're using a frame at the same time, that's also working. Um, the virtual background is behind me, but the frame, in this case the TV, is in the front or the foreground, so that works nicely. Now if you want to learn all there is to know about using a virtual background without a green screen, then check out this video right here. So it's pretty nice how you've got a combination of virtual backgrounds and video filters. It gives you an opportunity to get really creative with your options. Arr. Righto, let's have a look at all the options we currently have with video filters. Boost. Noir. Cinnamon, cream, sea foam, sepia, gum. And then moving on to our frames, we've got uh, cinema, analog TV, camera style, picture frame, another TV, another picture frame, and then a fun emoji looking one. And then uh, my favorite glasses, Coronavirus mask, construction mask, halo, zoom. Really don't know what that is, pizza, rainbow eyes, happy sprout, prancer, bunny rabbit, magic corn, monarch if you're feeling royal, graduation cap, a French beret. Hmm, nice little moustache, I don't mind that one. Bandit, oh. We did the pirate, I'm not gonna do the pirate noise again. A fedora cap. I like these 3D glasses. Uh, not sure what this is, futuristic. Let's go snowboarding, yeah. Shades, like, kind of like Elton John. Flower cap. Oh, a cute little daisy there. Butterflies. Great, well I'm sure Zoom are gonna release more of these over time, but these are just to get you started, so look forward to seeing more coming soon. In a moment, we'll go over the features that Zoom have recently released, but first, if you're enjoying this content, then please give us a thumbs up below, and if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing for more great videos just like this. The most useful feature they've recently introduced is called Slides as Virtual Background, and that means you can run a PowerPoint or Keynote presentation while you're actually on the screen in front of the presentation itself, like you can see here. And this is great if you're delivering a presentation in a Zoom meeting, or if you wanted to record yourself in the corner of the screen while you're delivering a PowerPoint presentation that you can use for an online video course. And I do a full tutorial of this new feature in the video right here, so check that one out. Two great new settings in the video tab include touch up my appearance, manual control for that one now, so you can Really crank that up to remove any blemishes you might have on your face. Uh, probably don't want to crank it all the way up, but you've got that control there, so that's great. Then you can adjust for low light. So if you've got a dark room and your face is dark, you can turn that one on. And you can even put it on manual and crank it right up if you're really, really dark. So that's a, a good feature there. 
Moving over to the audio settings, we've got two great new settings there, and one is suppress background noise, and it defaults at auto, but if you've got some really loud kids behind you or banging or construction noise, you can crank that right up. Now be aware that that's gonna probably cut your voice a little bit at times and you're not gonna come across too clear, but it's good if you've got some really distracting background noises. Then if you click on advanced and come on down to echo cancellation, that again defaults to auto, but if you've got a really echoey room, then maybe you wanna get aggressive with that echo cancellation. Earn your graduation cap by watching this video next, where you'll learn how to look great on video for Zoom, FaceTime, and pretty much any video call. So I'll see you there. Ray! Ah, oh, they should make that so it works.